Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. While she backing out to go to pick up some lunches, I'm going to be parking something right here when she get back. Ooh, she don't know it. There she go. He pulling up with it now. Yeah, baby. Just in time, but here she come now. <laughs> what you doing? No. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to beat her to the punch, but it looks like here we go. Oh, that boy is here. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's here. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is the kind of truck I need right here. This is it. Hey, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. This boy too big for my yard. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fit in the shed or in the garage. That's crazy. I think it's big. in the back. Yeah, I gotta let it down. I don't know how. You can show me how. Okay. No. No. You can see it. I can show you it. Yeah, I can show. I was gonna say I can show you it. You want, to, you, want to, you want to drive it out here? You want to drive it up there? Or? Well, it, it don't matter. I, I drive it. To, you talking about taking it to the yard or something? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what all he didn't show you. All right. Uh, he showed you how to get under the hood and everything? He hasn't showed me anything, but j he just showed take, me what it was like to take it apart. It. But uh, I, I guess I'm going to try and get video of everything that you showed me today, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, so. Well, obviously, you got you to gotta be, you got to have your brake on. 
So how you brake on to start it? Yeah, or your parking brake. So your parking brake is set. I got the parking brake set, which is right here. All right, so how do you set the parking brake? You push the pedal all the way down. Down. And so, raise that up. Okay, so up. Pull it up to lock the parking brake? Yep. And then you have to have it in neutral? You gotta be in neutral. And when you turn the key. Wait for the glow plug. Then a little curly cue. Yep. And when that goes out, hit the key. Push that down, flat low or high. Then you get the forward and reverse pedal. Forward and reverse. Now here's the throttle. Now turn your lower deck on right here. That's your PTO. Okay. That's the PTO for all the PTOs, right? Front, middle, uh... Yes. Okay. And then the selector was over here on the side when he was showing you. That's the selector right there. So this is whether I want to do... This is the middle blade with 20, 2100 RPM? Yep. So I'd be in low gear and then 2100? Yep. And then for this one, I can do both the uh, rear and the, and the front middle? That will spin both of them, yes. And then this one is just for the back? And just the rear. But now, for this one, if it spins both of them, I have to be at 540 then, because it's the lowest. Well, the, the, the rear one spins at a slower speed. Okay, okay, okay. So they'll okay. do a differential. Okay. This one spins faster if you're uh, at the mower deck. Right, right, right. The high speed mower deck. Right. The one on the rear spins at a slower speed. Right. And it'll show you in here the RPM when it's spinning. Sure, sure, okay. uh, when you have that on. Okay. Uh, the Nyko doesn't use. The, the PTO, yeah, it's the it's hydraulic. Hydraulic. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna have to learn how to take the, the, the back off. He showed me how to do that. Yeah. I probably won't need you to do it today because unless you want to show me, because yeah. I, how long are you here? I don't want to keep you all day. I, okay, okay, uh, I'll figure it. I'll figure most of it out, I guess. Usually I got it on YouTube. You watch it all on YouTube. That's, and that's what I'm about to do with this. Put it up on YouTube. <laughs> All right, you want to pull it around back or what? Yeah, we can go around back. All right. I'm going to give you a camera. Be able to fold the. I would have to pull the mower deck off, definitely. Hey, you're probably you're probably better off to put it just keep it up here in the garage. I think so. I think so. I gotta leave the four wheeler back there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yep. 
Um, It's got your, uh, your three-point hitch is up here in the bucket. So what you would use that for is if you take the backhoe off, if you get an attachment for the back, mm -hmm. then that's the three arms that would, that would, connect. would attach. It okay. connects to the back of it. All right. You could always get a set of forks to go on there. All you yep. would do with that that's is you just get. take the bucket off and, put and you can put a set of forks on it. Yeah, that's what I plan on getting. I was actually going to try, I was probably going to go up there and get a, a the fork attachments, but I need a couple of uh, pallets. I saw you had some up there. Would they, would they give me a couple of pallets if I went up there and asked for them? I, I, I seen a set this morning and it's sitting on, it's strapped down to a pallet. So okay. it'd probably come with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're mounted to it and you got the main heads on the back. Yep, yep. And then the two two forks and it was strapped now down. Now the only, the, only thing is I want the one that has the, uh, the grill guard over, like the- Goes up and over. Yeah, yeah, I want that because I'm scared that I'll be dropping stuff on the hood or something if I don't. I... I would oh, I'll say look. It probably I'll look. does. Yeah, I'll look. I'm gonna go back up there. I think that's. I, I tell all of them. Are. I haven't seen one otherwise. I'm. 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 I'm because pretty... because you know this, this isn't a forklift. You know it has to have something on it. Right. Because it's, it's the, the back, back draft, so you can pick something up. It would lay against the back of it. Right. You know and, what I'm saying. And, and then that's that part's right here, and then it has a little arch that goes up over it like this, like a little guard. Yeah. Just a little bit higher. I, I've seen this two different kinds. It's only like like a fifty dollar difference between the two. I'm gonna get the one with the guard on the on the top of it. I've seen one. I seen one land back here by where yeah. I parked my truck this yep. morning. So I'm gonna go. I know look. there's one back here. So if it's that one, I don't know. Well, it looks like I'm about to have some fun today. I don't know what I'm going to do first. But I'm going to do... I got a rock yeah. over there I want to try and get out. And I got a couple stumps over here I want to get out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know what to do first. I don't know if I'm going to do anything yet. <laughs> I'm scared of it, tell you the truth. I don't know. Just I, drive it around and get a feel for that's it. That's what I'm going to do. Try and drive it around. Drive today. it around and get a feel for it. And just remember, you know, it's got a little bit of length to it. Right. Now, I got a question. You see how my tra how my trails look? Is it is it bad? Like I want to smooth this area out right here. You see how muddy that is? Would it get stuck in that? If I wanted to smooth it out, or should I wait until it dries out to do that? You just going, you're going to get it sloppy muddy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're going to get it really muddy. I'm not going to do anything with the deck um, on it. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do because I want to smooth this out, not beat it up. I guess yeah. eventually I'm going to till it up. But I got a bunch of stumps and stuff in there throughout the trail. It, you're going to have a lot of that mud's going to be sticking to your tires. Yeah. I'm not going to go through here. I got areas that aren't muddy over here. Yeah. You got this four-wheel drive on it. Yeah. So. It's got four-wheel drive and differential lock on it. So. Well, I'm ready to play around with it. You've seen how to go two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, right? Right there, that lever. See it? See that sticker? Right here. Yeah, so it's in two-wheel drive right now. And you push it straight down. That's four-wheel drive. Okay. Four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Okay. And then what was that over there for? That's a differential lock. That will lock both the rear tires. That will help. It almost like gives you pause attraction is what it is. Right, right. And so it's designed mainly to go straight ahead. Right, yep. So. All right, yep. And for this right here, you take off the uh, you gotta bucket. You got to take the bucket off. Right, okay. And then you can see where the arms go, where it goes in here. Yep. And there. Same thing. It'll it'll go right down in that hook at, and then you pin it and right there. And then you pin it there. Yep. But whatever you do, don't don't pick it up off the ground unless you got them pins in there. Understood. Understood. Because what what will happen is you'll start raising it up, and it'll swing out on you. Oh yeah. So don't don't pick it up off the ground unless Without you have the, the pins, pins in. in. Make sure that you got your safety pins All in right. there. And the safety. Okay, I don't remember that. Um. Is there anything else that I need to know? Now, I got a big question, and I'm gonna learn most of this, like you said, off of YouTube, but when I take this backhoe off, yeah. if I'm cutting grass, I'm gonna have the front off and I'm gonna have the back off, and I'm just gonna be using it to cut my grass. Yeah. Now, do I need any weight on this thing at all when I cut grass? No. Okay, no. okay. Nope, Everybody. don't need anything on it when I, I'm on. So, when I'm, when I'm using the bucket, I need to have some weight on the back. Yeah, that'll help you out there. I'll give you counter, counterbalance your Is weight this, back here. And And, I only need this on when I'm using the bucket, though. 
Yeah, well, you don't have to. I mean, unless you're going to be picking up a lot of stuff that's really heavy. I'm not. And you're not on level much. ground, you know, I, would, I wouldn't worry about it, you know. Okay. You, yeah, I'm not going to be picking up anything too heavy. Whenever Probably you make a turn, you know, you just got a little bit more length there with that sticking back here. Right. So. Right. You might have to take that thing back. It might swing around here with the roll bar down. Oh, I should, I should have that up, though, when I'm riding, though, right? Yeah, you know, if you're back here, if it's hilly, if you got some hills back in there, you want to have that roll bar up. Okay. You know, we only put it down, you know, so, so it would get in the garage, so you could park it inside. And that's where I'm going to park it, I think. But that's what that's your rollover. If you use a rollover, and that's, that's what would prevent it from killing me. keeping on going over. Right. It's designed, if it was to roll over, and it would stop right there. Okay, One on way the or the other, it would stop right there. Right. You got a seatbelt on there, so you want to make sure you're wearing your seatbelt. Right, yeah, yeah, so you don't get thrown out you of You don't crush. ever want to try to run away from it. If it's tipping over, you want to hold on that steering wheel and just ride it over and just stop. Okay. Stay with it, you know what I'm saying? Stay with it. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Just be careful what you're doing, what you're picking at, you know, and how heavy it is, what its limitations are. I only yeah, got You can use the front end loader without having the backhoe on it. Okay. But you start getting into really heavy gravel, wet snow, or something, you got something heavy, you know, it's going to tip it back here. It's going to, you know what I'm saying? It's going to pull, pull, pull the back pull end up. up. The back, right, yeah. all right, because it ain't that heavy of a piece of equipment. I get it. I get it. You can buy a, a ballast box to go back right. here. Mm -hmm. I think they're about four hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll probably get one of those eventually. Once I, I like right now, the only thing I'm mainly going to use it for is for cutting the grass. Yeah. I do have some projects that I want to do in the trails, and I want to get some stumps out of my yard. Yeah. But I really got it because I was tired of having the lawnmower that I had. All I could do is just cut grass with it. Yeah. And so I want to be able to aerate and things like that, but. I just didn't want to pay for all these extra accessories later, so yeah. I just got it all now. Like, all I'll now. never use this backhoe. I'm not gonna say never. Yeah. I'm gonna try and use it to make money on the side more yeah. than anything. There you go. Cause I, I had to get a water line replaced in my yard, and that cost me nine thousand dollars. Yeah. So if I would have had this, it would have probably saved me a lot. Yeah. But I don't know what I'm doing yet, so I gotta sit out here and practice. practice and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, that's what I'm gonna do probably all day, just practice. Um, yeah, that'll swing around without being in the way. Um, I'll let it up. You can you can operate this, you know, when you're standing out here, but where that arm will swing back and forth. And the one control, you control the arm, which will go out and back, and then you can curl the bucket. Right. And then this right here is your boom. Right. And the other one will control that going down and up, plus it'll turn it around one the same way or the other. Okay. If you're standing there and you're standing too close and you pull on that real quick, that, it's that gonna swing, swing around, around and, and hit just, you. I mean, it would knock me and you both of us off of our feet. So don't stand and so do it. Be what careful you're when you're standing. If you're gonna be operating that, you know, usually you want to be in the seat. If you're yeah, gonna be I'll be operating in the seat. that, moving that around, because you're gonna move it around a little bit to take your stove pins out of there. Oh yeah. You know, remember yeah. how he showed you how them come out? Uh huh. You know, then you're going to put them things right out here. That's where the one goes, right there. And then the bigger one goes on the other side. And the bigger one, yeah. Now, now, what, so those are just pins so it don't bounce around while That's it's while you're transport. transport. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's just for transport. Okay. And then you got to unhook these. See where that's hooked? If you're going to operate these, you know, then you got your two controls. Right. To let those start down. bringing it down. Okay. So if you're going to take it off, you're going to take and put both these stands down you're gonna go do a tripod and then you're gonna put this on the ground and then all you gotta do is raise it up a little bit you start raising it up so you can pull those two pins out right remember he showed you mm -hmm. pull them two pins out and then you go ahead and raise it on up it'll come up out of that saddle down there right and raise it up out of it and then at that point you can just shut it off and roll it forward a little bit and disconnect them two lines and then make sure you plug them two lines back together together so you don't get any any leak so let me ask you a question looking around in my yard where is the best place for me to store this part like he said it needs to be on a level surface i'm saying i don't have like can i store it underneath there yeah is it is, you can put it under there is it do i need to level it out a little bit first This is this is the only thing like I don't know where I no, would put can, this. You can raise it and lower, you know, however you need to do. And then I put a brick the, underneath you, you it. You got the two stabilizers, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But I definitely would, I'd like to keep it out of the out of the rain. I'd put a tarp over it. And put it under here. 
Yeah, you could probably put it under there. Okay. I'll do that. That's where I'll put it then. Put a piece of plywood yeah. down or something. Put it under there and then cover it up good so it don't get wet, don't get rained on. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's out of the sight so someone doesn't see it. Someone good. ain't going to be able to take it anyway. It's too heavy because good, they'd good. have to have another piece of equipment like it to hook right, up to it. Right, right. Yep. But as long as it's back here, no one would know it's here. Well, see, I have people walk through my yard every once in a while, and that's what, because yeah. my yard being connected to a park, they end up coming coming through my trails. Yeah. So I just put up a sign to say no trespassing back there, but yeah. they still come through. But definitely, this is going to be fun. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do first. I think I'm about to probably piss off a lot of my neighbors. I'm going to be out here every day doing something different. <laughs> well, if you've got a big rock or something over there, you can work on digging that out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yep. I'll do that first. Did he show you how to check the hole and everything? No, no. Nobody showed me how to get under the hood at all or anything. You can take an ink pen or you can use a screwdriver. You see that oval shape, egg shape right there? Yep. That little hole, you just push in on that. And that released the hood. That way you can get under the hood. Okay. And your, your operator's manual and all that will have all the maintenance intervals on it. You also have it up here on the hood. See that? Yep. I'll let you know when to change your oil and everything. Okay. Right there's your battery. The one thing that's very important, especially when you're mowing and everything, you get a lot of dry dust and dirt and everything that from yep, mowing the grass. See that vent right there? Yep. Make sure that stays clean. Okay. Because yeah. that because it's drawing air in. Right. And it'll pull it, and you'll have grass and everything stuck in this screen because it's pulling air in to go through so it'll right. cool the engine. Yep. And keep an eye on that. Make sure that stays clean. Sit right back down in that slot. You go back down. All right, here's your overflow for your, your radiator. And then these panels on both sides, both these panels will come off. With these little pop pit tins. Take yeah. that little pop pin, turn it, and pull it out. It won't come out, but it'll just come all the way to the end like that. See that? Yep. So I'm going to grab a hold of that panel, and that whole panel will come out of there. Right there's your fuses. See that right there? Yep. And it'll tell you what they are. You can see them all right here, the red, the yellow, and the blue. Yep. And this will tell you exactly what they are right there. Tail light, headlamp, none, none, cab, yep. Right there, I can see your oil filter. And when you change your oil, you can either fill it. See the dip, the yellow dipstick right there in the oil filter? Yep, right here. Yep, oh, yeah. check your oil. And then that's and then where you fill? You can fill it either there or up on top. Or up on top. Or so on you top. got a top fill or a side fill. Whichever fill. one you can get to, if you got one, depending on what kind of a funnel you got. Right. I got one that's got like a long flexible spout. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the other side comes out the same way as this one does. Okay. Again, I got two CM2 prongs there. Yep. And I got two back here. Yep. That's how it mounts back on. You see where they go down there? See them yep. in the frame down there? Right there in the front. Get them back, line back up. And then it'll slide. Slide forward. And then it'll slide forward. This got to be on the inside or outside? It's on the inside. Oh, right yeah. there. And then I'll pop and just push that back in and turn. And you got your panel back on there. That's pretty good. I like that. And that's your latch when you shut it. And you see how I use, I use a screwdriver or an ink pen. Or ink pen. Push you it in. You push in on that. And what that does, is that releases it. See that? Yep. Just by pushing in, that's how it releases okay that's your hydraulic oil cooler and then that's your engine that's your antifreeze okay that's your little radiator right there and that's the camp okay and you can keep an eye on it if it gets low or something you keep an eye on it right there and that's where you would fill it right there and then whenever it needs it it would draw it would draw it into the radiator okay don't take that off if the engine's been hot right all right it could you know blow out in your mm -hmm. face yep Oh yeah. 
You got a little toolbox here. You put, put your stuff in your toolbox. Probably a pair of vice grips and a hammer. Yep. Whatever you need. Moving stuff and you got lights. If you're gonna get out on the road, if you, you have any plans that you might be out on the road driving it somewhere. Maybe up to my barber shop, that's about it. If you take it out on the road, make sure you're in two wheel drive. Okay, yep. If you're on four wheel drive, you're on tires. the road, they kind of fight back and forth each other. One's pulling, one's pushing. So whatever you do, drive it on. If you drive on the pavement and two go somewhere, drive. two wheel drive. And make sure that you have your slow moving vehicle. Sign up. Sign up. Okay. If you get out on the road, like your seat belt, and you got armrests, and they'll adjust. You can twist that right there. That way you can adjust them up and down however you like. Okay. Then that right there, that will raise the mower deck. And then if you have an implement on the back, that's what that does. That's what will raise that. Okay, okay, yep. And you got a 12-volt power supply right there. Right. Your 12-volt. That's your control for your loader. And then you got a lock out. You push that in and that locks that out. It won't move. So like if I'm if I'm driving somewhere, I want to keep it at a certain height. That's yep. okay. Just lock it out. That way you don't accidentally bump it and then and, bucket and, it down on yep, it. Yep. So that's and you open the back cool up and then that's control. All right. It also has cruise control. That's what the black one is right here. That's cruise control there. All right. That's your parking brake. Okay. The throttle, and that will turn the blades on right there like that. Yep. And you're out here mowing, and you're mowing along, and then you go back up. You gotta push that down again. See that? There's off, on, there's off, on, and you push it down again, you rock it. See how you rock it up? Uh-huh. And you hold it down and you start backing up. That'll keep the blades turning in reverse. Oh, otherwise, really? otherwise it'll turn the blades off. It's a safety. So if the blades turn off though. Then all it, you gotta do is turn it off and turn them back on. Okay, so it ain't gonna hurt it if I forget. All it is is a safety, and it wants you to know who or what's behind you when you back up with the blades on. Right, That's right. That's just a safety in it. Right. You know, if you don't push that down, it'll shut the blades off when okay. you get back, when you hit the reverse and back up. Okay. That's good. That's the safety feature, so. You got all your lights. You got hazards, and then you got your turn signals on there. Okay. And you got headlights and hazards, and then you have just headlights and work lights, which would be the headlights, and then these lights here. Right. Depending on what you're working on. If you're out here and it starts getting dark, you can turn the work lights on. Right there's your fuel gauge. You got a full tank of fuel. Okay. I think it holds five and a half gallons. Okay. And right there's where your fuel goes in. All right. That's a good place for it. You wanna drive it? Sure. Yeah. Got got tilt steering on it. I can see where you had to Four wheeler out the mud. Huh? Yeah, I ride it in the mud every day. <laughs> and then curly keys go that. See, it's already kind of warm where you yeah. go. Remember, you three points in there in that box. Select lower high. There you go. Come on the
So you gotta have neutral and the parking brake. Yep. Okay. You can get off of it. So right there you have hazards. You have hazards, hazards and headlights, headlights and work lights. Yeah. Yep. And then there's your left turn signal, your right turn signal, and it'll flash up here on the dash for you too. You can see the right, the left one turn right there. You can see it flashing. Yep. Now, is something going on? Is something wrong that, that this is making that noise? It's just where the ignition's on. Oh, okay. But I needed the ignition on for the lights, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can turn the headlights on without the ignition being on. You can? Yeah. Oh. That's where you move your seat back for. You want to move the seat back. Yeah, it felt pretty comfortable right where it was at too. I liked it. I mean, I guess over time I'll get used to, I'll find out exactly what feels right. Oh yeah. But uh, it actually, it like, it actually ran very well. And I mean, I, I expect it to. Yeah. It, it turns so smooth. It doesn't feel like I'm on a big, like on a big piece of equipment. It feels, yeah. I mean, it's not as small a turn as my zero turn was, but. Yeah. This is gonna be. It's gonna it's do a, a lot. Compact tractor. So yeah, I love you it. You know, it's made smaller so you can get in tighter areas. Yeah, I never had a 60 inch deck before either, so that's gonna be something new. I think I'm gonna get done cutting my grass much faster than I actually want to. I'm trying to get him to let me cut his grass too, yeah. <laughs> so I can actually do some work with it. There you go. You yeah. got a pond right there. Uh, no, that's just, just the, the drainage. Area. But I'm actually planning on uh, digging two ponds. In this area over here that's yeah. another reason why i got it because i want to put in a couple ponds how far does it go back to that tower that tower yeah excuse me yeah to the tower in the same distance over this way oh okay yeah you can it's it's a it's an acre and a quarter 
okay. It's just because it's a wedge that it looks huge. Yeah. Yep. Got some cedar trees in there. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with it. Oh, yeah. I'm scared of it a little bit. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit intimidating. Just get on it, drive it around, get, get a used feel to for it. it. Yep. If you're gonna move quickly, you wanna put it in high. You know, you just gonna move around slow. Yeah, I'm planning on moving slow. I'm planning on moving slow and taller on what I'm doing. If you're going if you're going off, if you're going long and low and you wanna move quicker, you wanna to come to a complete stop, then shift it back into high. Right. You don't wanna shift it while you're moving. Right. It'll just grind the gear. Another question. Do you think that this is gonna fit in my garage? Yeah. Drive it up there and we'll go see. All right. Here out of the way. 
fits. It fits perfect. Now, you can't drive it like that though, can you? Yeah, you can drive like that. I have to put the transport pins back in? Um, I probably put this one back in. Put that one back in. Okay. But that right there, you know, it might, might bounce around on you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so don't. Put that one back in. Do you think that, cause that one, do you think that one would fit in there or you think that that's, cause it's got the, I don't know if it's necessary or not, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, you don't have to. Okay. Uh, well it fits. Yeah, it fits in there. Yeah, it fits. And I could even pull forward a little bit more. I can turn it off, I guess. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah. Make sure I'm gonna call him. Be careful what you're doing with it. Yeah. That's exactly what I need to make sure of that that I do everything right. Yeah, that'll you'll push them down and it'll raise it'll raise the back end and it'll be stabilized. It'll move. Okay. That way. Alright. Well, I guess I'll call him and see. Because I got a couple stumps I want to get out, but I'll play I'll just play around with it just yeah. just trying to figure out how to drive it and stuff. Probably won't do it too much. It's kinda cold out right now. But yeah, this is gonna be great, and it when, fits. When you call them and, and say, "Hey, I'm just gonna pull out some stumps, dude. I need to have someone come out." You know, they'll they'll know they'll let you know what, what right. they need to do. Right. I definitely. If you're do back that. away from the house or you know whatever's back there, they just want to be know. on the safe side. Yep. Yep. Okay? Yep. Understood. Definitely. Be careful with it. Take your time. And like I said, if you're moving that around like I was doing, I was stand here, stand back out of the way because if you move that quick, I mean, it'll come around quick. Uh, um, Especially if the engine RPM is higher. Right, right. You know, I mean, the engine just idled and it was moving kind of slow. So, what does the engine RPM need to be on this to use the backhoe? About mid, about in the middle. Okay, so not. You don't super need high. a whole lot because it's running off hydraulic. Right, right, right. All right. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah. I'm very interested in seeing what this is gonna be like. I'm gonna take most of this stuff off because I, I know what I'm gonna be using it for mostly is just cutting my grass. Yeah. But. I It'll mean, be a while be... for you to do that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Until next spring. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Well, this is going to be fun. You got all your manuals and everything there. I do. Right? So mm -hmm. They're all in the house now. If you go on there, you can say, you can go in there and like YouTube and 1025, remove the loader. I mean, they'll go in and it's, it's got Show a you video that shows you everything on there. Yep. Yep. Once you do it a couple times, you'll have it you'll have it down to be a lot easier well just take yeah. your time with it just go slow with it that's what i'm hoping for is it gets easier over time and i know that's what it'll, what it'll be oh yeah this is gonna be nice can't All believe right. it fit feel pretty good with it yes sir thank you very much you're welcome i appreciate your help today too here you go <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be Our great. Bengals, buddy. They're struggling, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh boy, definitely, definitely. I, I couldn't hate watch. to see him lose Carlos Dunlap, but he's he's a good player. Yeah, something I didn't even watch. I was there. he wasn't happy or something. Something happened. Yeah, I didn't watch yesterday because I was so busy trying to get the garage and stuff clean. <laughs> yeah, I spent the past two days reorganizing. I had all those shelves that were in the garage in the yeah. shed. All those shelves were in here. So I had to move all those this weekend. I wish I'd have had this to do the move with. If I'd have had a yeah. forklift, I could have got everything moved easier. There you go. But I definitely appreciate it. All right. Thank you again. You're welcome. I'm going to watch you uh, load up. Uh, so I was going to watch you load up. All right. I need one of these trucks too. <laughs> yeah. This has been great. You say do what? Yeah, yeah. See, that's what it would be good if you had a big tractor. Man, Jesse, I pulled up with my tractor on there. This is gonna be amazing. And he walked me through it. That was very thorough.
feel like I know what I'm doing, even though I'm still not 100% sure I do. But, how long is this video today? Ooh, 50 minutes. But I'm putting the whole video up, y'all. 50 minute video on how I got my tractor delivered. And this whole video is going up because it might be something important in there that I don't remember. So I'm putting this whole video online. And we gonna spend some more time with this tractor later on today. If anybody's watching and you don't wanna see this whole thing, I understand. But this one is more for my records. But I appreciate anybody who watched. Hey, thank you again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Be careful with it, take your time with it. I'm gonna try to. Be aware of what's around you and everything. If you got, you got a little boy or something. I do, I got two. Yeah. Just behind you, you know what I'm saying? Be aware of where they're at. Right. All right? All right, thank you again, I appreciate it. Thank you. There it is, John Deere took care of it. Your boy is officially a John Deere tractor owner. Hey, right off the bat, I just pulled around the house and completely forgot to let down that. Just playing around, just playing around. I just went in the backyard to just, just play around with it a minute. And already, I didn't tore up my house. Daggone, that rob system is not gonna work for me. <laughs> There it is. Take it down.